Well, guys, uh, obviously good news for us. Uh, we're really excited about the opportunity to take this year's version of the Colorado State Rams, that uh, well-deserved version, um, down to Albuquerque. And we're so excited to be part of the New Mexico Bowl. And, and the opportunity to play a, a Pac-12 opponent is something that, that I know we're really looking forward to. And, and, and uh, you know, I just can't tell you how rewarding it is for our seniors, for what these guys have done, how we've gotten progressively better. Um, you know, I, 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 uh, it's really one of those things that, that now the work begins moving forward. And as excited as our guys were, um, you know what? We need to take care of business and get back to work. And now we know what we need to focus on. And, and uh, you know, we're upsetting the schedules right now as far as our practices and how we're going to do this, because obviously this is also a recruiting week. Uh, so coaches took off uh, today. Uh, and as we kind of finalize it, uh, we'll probably start to work really on Friday. Um, you know, full go on our next opponent. How nerve-wracking were the last 24 hours for you? Well, you know, guys, I, I uh, you know, it, it, it wasn't for me personally. It was, you know, just, you know, for, I know how hard the people here have worked since I've been here. And, and what I mean by that, not only our players, but, you know, the countless hours and support that we've had from our administration and, and everybody that, that works and touches our organization, our football organization. And, and to me, you know, the bowl season is really a reward for all that work that they do. And, uh, you know, now it's up to our football team to pay them back and by putting on a good performance down in Albuquerque. I saw those just, you've been out on the road recruiting and all. How valuable is a bowl appearance for recruiting? You know, and it, it it just puts you in that club. You know, <laughs> it's like it's one of those deals that that you know there's there's uh, there's certain teams that are in the club and there's certain teams that aren't. And and guess what? We got the secret uh, knock to get in the alley door to get to get in uh, get in with the the rest of them. And and uh, I I I just think it speaks volumes for how far we have come in such a short time and yet we're still scratching the surface and this will be a great experience for our guys and something that you know what they're going to get used to because uh, uh, that's something we came here to do and, and uh, it'll give us another opportunity uh, to put Colorado State University on a national television uh, audience. Um, we were able to do that when we went to Alabama and but somewhere around 2.8 to 3 million people put eyeballs in. We had a three-hour three, three hour, uh, commercial for Colorado State University and, and what a great place Fort Collins is. And this gives us, again, another opportunity to spread the word of, of, of what we're all about here in Fort Collins. Hey, Jim, how do you turn them around from being excited to, to be in the club to going down and preparing to win the game? You know, it's, it's uh, I think, the way this team has matured, Mike, um, you know, I, I, I really think we'll be able to reel them in. Obviously, we're going to have a lot of things going on, uh, you know, finals week, uh, you know, holidays, you know, trying to figure out those plans on the back end of everything. And yet, you know, this team has kind of learned how to be pretty resilient. Uh, we talk all the time about, you know, overcoming and, and, and adapting and, and attacking the moment. And uh, as you know, uh, just the way we kind of practice, <laughs> the way we, uh, we try to create chaos and, and teach our guys to eliminate the clutter out of their mind and focus on the task at hand. And, and uh, I guess the good thing is I've had a little bit, of, uh, little bit of experience going to bowl games, so I got a decent idea on how to get it handled. The one or yeah, a couple here and there. <laughs> but, but you know, I got to tell you this though. You know, about being to one or more, you know, a couple here over yeah. the years. Uh, yeah. 
I can honestly say this one's probably the most satisfying. And, and I mean that sincerely because uh, I really do know that, that, you know, this place hasn't been in a while. And so, uh, you know, to, to see the joy on people's faces, you know, that, that, that really makes me happy. And, and uh, you know, I, I, I'm really looking forward for these guys to have the experience and for our organization to have the experience. It's, it's uh, really what it's all about. But I cut you off. Go ahead. That's why I was just getting curious because I think the team's supposed to arrive on the 18th. It's only a couple days before the game. Will you do most of your game preparation in Fort Collins probably because of the distractions that come along with, with going to a bowl game? Yeah, we'll try to get most of it done here. And then, uh, you know, let's not lose track of the fact we'll have about uh, – 12 guys in this weekend on a visit. Um, so this will be busy for the coaches now uh, as, as, as we game plan, as we recruit. Um, what a great distraction to have, you know, during recruiting, believe me. And uh, yet, um, you know, we've got to make sure this is really going to put an emphasis on everybody being on task and, and being organized as we uh, put our planning sessions in, as we put our meetings in, as we put our practice in, as we put all the things we do around recruiting. And, um, you know, it'll be a great chance for the recruits like this weekend to see us practice, uh, see kind of how we do things. And, and so there'll be a lot, of, a lot of extra pressure as well on the personnel department to make sure everything goes smoothly as, as uh, we're getting ready to uh, play in this bowl. Were the recruits still on campus when you guys got the news? Uh, no, no, no. They were. Uh, they they got out. Uh, they got out this morning. Um, but that's all right. It'll give us one more thing to Facebook them about, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> What was going on? Were you still finding out at that point, or um, still... you, you know, I, I, I might not, I might not have been totally focused on practice today. But uh, um, you know what? I was proud of the way the guys were, and I think that's a credit to our coaching staff. Uh, and yet, um, you know, we, you know, guys, I, I had a pretty good feel. Uh, from the get-go, like I think I talked to you after the last ball game we had. Um, I know what kind of team we have, and I know what kind of entertainment we can provide to television, and 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 I'm sure we're going to get a lot of people from Fort Collins go down to New Mexico and and uh, go to Albuquerque, and and so I really felt good about our cause and. And yet, you know, in a good league like this, and, and as you start to get parity, you know, somebody's going to get left out. And I, I, that, that, you know what, that hurts me as well because I know how hard all those people work towards this goal. And, uh, but with that being said, you know, we do have a 3,000-yard passer. We've got a 1,500-yard runner that uh, somehow figures out how to get the ball in the end zone. And, uh We've got, you know, a, a senior bowl participant on the offensive line and, and, and an East-West Shrine, uh, you know, Shrine game uh, participant. And, and we've got a lot of great things happening here. And so I'm excited for the country to see the Rams. And, and uh, this is really good. Can you mention a little bit? Have you picked, how do you stress to the fans that it's important for not just this bowl game, but get invited to future ones. You need their support actually in Albuquerque. That's not watching on TV. No, we need to sell tickets and we need to go paint the town green. Uh, we need to go to Albuquerque and enjoy the experience and get behind these guys. Um, and and you know what? The faithful Rams will be there, and and we're looking for some more to jump on the bandwagon. And and. Uh, you know we've got some great things happening here, and this is just this is just the tip of it, and yet. You know what we need to do is we need to we need to have a great showing as 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 a university, and we need to have a great showing from the Ram Nation. Uh, 
as far as getting down there and, and, and enjoying a, a Saturday ball game before Christmas and, and, uh, and go into the holidays with a smile on our face. This is a bowl with a marquee matchup against the Pac-12 team. That's a good thing? I mean, other bowls might have a Mac or whatever. Sure. I, I, I think it's a great thing. Um, I was really excited about that opportunity. And, and you know, the, the – you know, kind of, kind of the working relationship between the two conferences. Um, you know, really this side of the country. You know, it's there's only two conferences that are playing Division One football, and so to me, it's it's uh, it's it's a natural matchup, and uh, you know, I'm 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 excited for whoever it is, and uh, you know, I think our guys will go in. Uh, you know, they've, they've played a team, you know, from another decent conference in the country. And so we'll, 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 go, we'll go show what we can do. What kinds of things were you able to do in practice the last three days? Well, we, knowing what. Well, it wasn't, it, we, we had a lot done because we were able to use it like spring practice. Okay. Uh, we were able to get a lot of young guys reps. Guys, the mo the, one of the most important things in the bowl structure, not only rewarding for what was accomplished, but allowing you the opportunity to get extra work in with the future of your program. And that's what part of being in that club is. It's about getting the extra practice time, evaluation time, seeing how far guys have come. Um, you know, the extra practice is, is, is huge. And guys aren't focused on maybe doing scout work. They're focused now on, on you know, getting their second step in the ground or, you know, read stepping here or doing whatever they've got to do at their position. It doesn't matter who you play. Uh, it's the fundamentals of the game that we're able to get some extra work at. How many guys will you be able to travel to the game? Everybody. Everybody? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the, old, the whole kit and caboodle. Yeah. The old shooting match. We'll get every one of them. So. Well, you get you get a 15 in there, but but at the same time, we're going to be able to use it. You know, based on how we've done it, we won't get them all in. You know, with the where the, with the early bowl game, and yet uh, at the same time, uh, we'll make sure that we're getting enough fundamental work with our whole team uh, that can benefit us not only now but for the future. Jim, when you guys started one and three, did you still think this was out there? Boy, you really wanted to bring up a bad subject, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> I was supposed I to mean, be excited know, today, Tom. Like you know what I'm getting you, at? You really had, you had to rally to get there. <laughs> no, I, I, you know, as I told you from the get-go after each one of those, I, I like this team. Mm -hmm. I liked where they are. Where they are. I, 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 I like their mindset. You know, I told you they weren't at times maybe the most talented outfit in the world but at the same time they had something whatever it is and and they were still finding themselves and still figuring out what it is to wake up every day and knowing that you know what you're either going to get better or you're going to get worse you're never going to stay the same so it's about what you do that day and and what you decide to do and i really saw that start to develop in our players and uh, and you know, just I think it speaks volumes for for what they have have done and what the coaches have done. You know, guys, our coaches, it, and it isn't me. This coaching staff, you know, staying together, coaching it, knowing we're on the right track, knowing we're doing what's right, and really demanding. Uh, you know, the work that that it takes to be successful and. Uh, that's a credit to our coaching staff, and and those guys, those guys really deserve uh, a lot of kudos for what they've been able to do, and and again, even when you think about it, at, at whatever it was you said we were, I try to forget about that. But uh, you know, to be able to rally through that is is something. I think, guys, our guys did a great coaching job, man. 
you know, I think the two biggest names that we've heard that you could be pitted against are Washington State or Arizona. They're two completely different teams. Both of them have their unique challenges with, you know, Kadeem Terry and the running back in Arizona, validating what he's done in, in the Leach's offense. You good with both matchups? You looking forward to either one that it could be? Yeah, you know, and right now it's it's – yeah, I just can't tell you, you know, to be able and go play a Pac-12 team, number one, I think is huge, uh, whoever that is. And, uh, you know, but at the end of the day, as you've heard me say before, guys, it's not going to be about them. It's going to be about us. And it's going to be how we take care of business and how we prepare uh, for this ball game. And, and uh, you know what, I know this. And, and, you know, you might think this is crazy, but I'm really looking forward to the late nights in the film room. <laughs> you know, I, I've already kind of missed them. So, uh, and, and, you know, probably my wife will be happy because I won't be bugging her at home. You won't be helping with the Christmas shop either, though. <laughs> no, there's no doubt someone else is going to be hanging the lights. I just hope it's not her on the ladder. <laughs> All right. One other quick question. Yeah. You got the... Uh, your neighbor up north hired a new coach. Do you know Craig Bowles very well? You know, I, I obviously know of his accomplishments and what a great hire that is. Uh, guys, guys obviously, you know, won and knows how to win. And, you know, they put it on us when he was uh, at the school he came from. So, um, but, you know, I'm, I'm happy for him and, and uh, you know, the people up there. And, you know, it's a it, it new face up and down the front range. So, um, that's, a, that's, uh, I think it was a really a good hire. I think it really was. And, uh, you know, don't get me wrong now. I'm not, you know, I, I felt, you know, as this time of year is miserable on all coaches because we all have friends that, you know, for one reason or another, things didn't work out. And, and, you know, I thought Dave Christensen did an outstanding job up there and, uh, you know, went to some bowl games and did some really good things. So, um, you know, and at the same time, we all know that's part of the business. And, uh, you know, best of luck to them except for that one game a year. Yeah. All right. You got, you got. Jim, I know that you mentioned being part of the club and kind of getting to see Joy put in his back on the first bases. Can you tell me a little bit about what that's like for you, knowing that that's kind of what you came here to do to restore a little bit of faith in this program and turn things around? Yeah. I, I, you know, I, I uh, you know, as I as I kind of grew up, it was about the joy of giving of yourself for the benefit of others, and uh, so for me, the joy is seeing these guys, the people, the organization, the university, the town, understand that it's okay to be bold. It's okay to be great. And it's okay to think, you know what? We got a lot to offer. Let's go offer it, and uh, and and that's a good and that's a good thing. And yet, um, the work is never done, and we aren't even close to where we're going to be. Uh, this is just one of those steps along the way uh, to restoring this place to what it is, and and uh, and I'm excited for the people. Okay. It's really exciting to just be come out here to be able to play with uh, the group of guys that we have on this team again, because that's what it's really about, the relationships that we build. And it's about football too, but I just enjoy our relationships a lot and the way that we are able to uh, play on the field is because of our relationships that we have. And I just appreciate uh, everybody who is behind the scenes that was working hard to get us the opportunity to uh, actually make it to the bowl game and play besides uh, what we did on the field, but I just want to thank everybody who was uh, who had a role in everything, I mean, in the bowl game situation. Is there a little bit of a sense of relief given all the rumors that were floating around late last night and this morning that you guys could get left out? Oh, I didn't. I didn't hear none of the rumors. I was sleeping most likely, but uh, I ain't hear no one of the rumors, but if uh, some people probably heard them. I know there's a sense of relief because, I mean, it's set in stone now that, that we in, and we happy that we uh, got the bowl bit. 
uh, because of my kids, not not because of the bull. <laughs> my kids are a little sick right now, so that's about it. But I really don't like try to worry about something that's out of my hands that I can't control. Because if you do, you just gonna stress about a lot of things. So I just just let it go and hopefully it turn out the right way. Yeah. Especially for seniors like you. It, it was tough. We know uh, we came out with a lot of high energy and everything, but we wasn't sure if our practice was going to waste or anything. But now we know that uh, it was for a good reason that we uh, made it to the bowl. So we're probably more uh, willing to go out there and practice and put an extra percent in there. Instead of going 100, we're going to try to do everything we can to uh, make sure we practice hard and prepare ourselves for who we got, Washington State? Maybe. That's not official. Oh, just for whatever Pac-12 team, Pac team we got. <laughs> Shaq, how excited are you that you guys get a face with a Pac-12 team? I'm really excited. They it's supposed to be a big conference, and I just like the competition to play against uh, big name schools or people from big conferences to show that just because we're in the Mountain West that we uh, that we are not just a Mountain West team, we're a good team and we could compete with anybody. Is there any advantage to playing in a stadium you were at just a few weeks back and had a really good game with the team? Yeah, we we familiar with the stadium, so that's gonna help us out a lot. And we know that uh, we just we just know that if we come out uh, and perform, pretty much ain't gonna mean anything. But it just feels good to know that we've been somewhere before, that we're going back there, and some sense of home because it's familiar with us. As a senior, how proud are you what the program's been able to do since your time here now, getting back to the board and how it's been well the building. I'm I'm real. Mexico. Can you say that again? What was the, what was the reaction of the team? Oh, the, you guys were told it was official. Oh, the team, we were uh, excited. Everybody started cheering, happy. It's just a real, real good moment for the team, for the whole program. Were you guys told in the meeting room? Or? Oh, yeah, we was in the meeting room. We had a team meeting uh, after a little walkthrough type of practice. And the uh, coach announced that we was going to the Mexico Bowl, and everybody just started cheering. And it was just a relief to finally find out that uh, our hard work is paid off. Oh, it's a proud moment for pretty much all the seniors because we've been here through rough times, all the hard times, good times, bad times, and we finally uh, getting it going to more good times now. And we hope we got. Uh, do what we got to do, like in the upcoming weeks, to continue the good times by uh, finishing up with a win this year, and then hoping the younger guys step up and continue the legacy that we're trying to uh, restore. Because Colorado State is a proud uh, football program, and we're trying to get it back to that high uh, high standard. More out here. Just uh, one more question. Yeah. Uh, you know, how nice does it feel to have this opportunity? Obviously, you guys were hoping for it, yeah. but now that it's a real. Really oh, it feels great. You know, that's that's uh, you know what you play for to be in the postseason. And as a senior class, that's kind of the mark we wanted to leave. Um, you know, as you know, starting CSU on the right track is getting to a bowl game. So, um, you know, we're really excited that we were um, selected to play in this game. Well, for you, it's fairly close to home. Yeah. Yeah. No, we were really uh, really excited about that because uh, you know, I just. Got on Twitter and told told all my Bushland people to come out and hopefully they'll be out in numbers because that'll be a, that'll be a fun time for all those guys to come and, and tailgate and enjoy the experience. What was practice like this morning with all this kind of hanging in limbo? Well, I mean, I was kind of I was kind of worried because I saw Coach Mack and uh, and Tom Ellers over there on their phones the entire time. They didn't didn't uh, look happy or sad, so I didn't know what to uh, to expect, and they didn't say anything about it. So it was kind of Kind of nervous about it, but then after practice, he said we had a meeting uh, with some good news. So, hey, Weston, you were the one that said you kept checking all the bull projections every hour. Uh, how anxious were you guys maybe the last couple of days until this process played out? Oh, we were very anxious. Um, you know, it's it feels really good now to, to kind of have it, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, official. But yeah, the, the days building up to that, we were really nervous about it, and and um, you know, kind of everything was up in the air. So. You know, you look at all the the projections. You know, it was you know we were in some of these, not in some of these. So um, it was all really up in the air. But we're really excited about it right now. Does it kind of add to your excitement that you guys get to face a, a Pac-12 team? 
Yeah, I think so. That's you know, it's it's going to be a good opponent, and um, you know, we're not sure who it is yet, but um, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be fun play against uh, play against some some big time uh, a team like that. Can you just kind of talk about what the mood around the whole team is like right now, especially in that circumstance? Just excitement. You know, we've never experienced this before, and and um, you know, we want to make it the norm here at CSU. So this is this is where we got to start, and we're all very, uh, uh, you know, we're all looking forward to it. You say that you want this to be the norm at CSU. Do you kind of feel like you've done your part to kind of build this program in the right direction? As a senior class, I think we have. You know, we, we wish we could have started earlier. You know, wish we could have done it every year we were here. Um, but you know, we, we uh, took it upon ourselves to, um, you know, uh, leave a legacy. I don't know if it, I'd call it a legacy, but just leave our mark and and kind of um, be be an example as senior leaders for the next next group of seniors. Um, and and I, I'm I'm really excited to see how those guys, uh, you know, kind of after we leave, how they uh, how they take other guys under their wings and, and take control of this thing. It, it was, it's a little bit more for you guys than just excitement to get in there. I, last week when you talked, you want to go down, you want to win this game too. And that often separates you know, the winners and losers in this game. Is that kind of the approach you guys have been taking the whole time? Yeah, no, that's that's when you get to it. I mean, getting to it is one thing. We're excited about it. But you also want to go, especially against a Pac-12 opponent, you want to go and win the game. So, um, you know, I, I'm anxious to find out who we play. and. Probably be on YouTube tonight, just watching a little bit and trying to, you know, see who they got, see what they're what they're the best at, and, and start to get an idea of who we're going to be playing. Yeah. Anything else, Weston? 